Hi there. So for this question, what we've got to do is solve this inequality. 2x minus 4 multiplied with x minus 3 is less than or equal to 12. Now to do this, what we would need to do is expand the brackets first of all. And so therefore, what we've got is 2x squared, and then you've got 2x times minus 3, which is minus 6x. And then minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12. And that's going to be less than or equal to the 12 on the end. So we've got a quadratic inequality here forming. So therefore, what I need to do is make it less than or equal to 0 by subtracting 12 from both sides. So if I do that, we get 2x squared minus 6x minus 4x is minus 10x, and then 12 minus 12 is 0, so we're just left with less than or equal to 0. Now, what I could do is I could divide through by 2 at this stage. I don't have to, but uh, 2 is a common factor. So I could get x squared minus 5x is less than or equal to 0. And we factorize this. So pulling out x as a common factor, we have x bracket x minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. Next, we find out the critical values. Remember, the critical values are the values of x which make this equal to 0. Okay, So x could be equal to 0, if that were the case. Or x minus 5 could equal 0, leading to x equaling 5. So there are critical values. And what we do with those values is that we sketch a graph. OK, so just put some axes here. We sketch the graph of y equaling x squared minus 5x, or x times x minus 5. I'll write it like that, x bracket x minus 5. Those critical values would be where this curve crosses the x-axis. It crosses at the origin and at x equals 5. It's a positive x squared graph, so it's a parabola going through the origin and then up through the 5. Something like that, OK? And we're looking for the values that give us y being less than or equal to 0. And they would be the values that are below the x-axis. Values, in other words, between 0 and 5. So because we've got an equals in this inequality here, then from the graph, let's just put that in there, from the graph, we can see that x must lie between 0 and 5. And because, as I say, we've got the equality here, it can actually equal those extreme values. OK?